Master the art of storytelling and jokes. Knowing your audience. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll delve into an exciting aspect of improving your English skills, particularly under the umbrella of listening and speaking skills, storytelling and jokes. In this video, we will learn about how to choose the right stories and jokes that match your audience's interests. Remember, being engaging is key when practicing spoken English, and selecting appropriate content is the first step. To be a good storyteller or joker, you first need to understand your audience. Are they children, teenagers, adults or seniors? Are they more interested in science, history, sports, or fashion? Maybe they are language learners, just like you. Knowing your audience's age, interests, and cultural background can significantly influence the type of stories or jokes you should choose. Once you understand your audience, it's time to select the right stories. For younger audiences, consider stories that are more imaginative and simple to understand, like fairy tales. For an audience interested in history, choose stories set in historical periods. Always ensure the story's complexity and content match the audience's knowledge level and interest. Jokes can be a bit trickier. Avoid jokes that might be offensive or difficult for your audience to understand. Simple puns or wordplay jokes work well for language learners. For a more scientifically inclined audience, consider clever science-related jokes. Remember, the best jokes often resonate with the listener's interests. Identifying your audience's interests may require some detective work. You could ask them directly or notice their reactions to different topics. If they light up when talking about animals, maybe a joke or a story about a pet would go down well. If they frequently discuss their love for cinema, a story revolving around movie making could be a hit. This kind of observation can help you tailor your story or joke to your audience. Don't worry if you don't hit the mark right away. Even experienced storytellers and comedians have to experiment to see what works. The key is to practice, receive feedback, and adjust accordingly. The more you practice, the better you'll get at selecting appropriate stories and jokes for your audience. So, that wraps up our session today on choosing stories and jokes that match your audience's interests. We hope you've gained some insights and are excited to put these into practice. Remember, good storytelling and humor can not only make your English conversations more engaging, but also help you connect better with your audience. Happy storytelling, and we'll see you in our next video.